Hey guys, you've asked for it and asked for it and asked for it. And today I'm finally letting you in on how I organize my TPT files. But first, if you're new here, my name is Blanca from TeacherTechFiles.com and I'm a second grade teacher in Las Vegas, Nevada. And on this channel, we talk about all things teaching with a special focus on how to be successful on Teachers Pay Teachers. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. As this video is going live, I am in the middle of my vacation somewhere in Hawaii. And let me tell you, it is a much deserved vacation. I haven't been feeling well the last few weeks and I have a lot of personal exciting things happening that I can't wait to tell you about. And overall, I've just been getting cabin fever being in the house all day. The weather in Las Vegas is ridiculously hot. So much so that even the pool doesn't seem inviting much less taking trips to the store or around town. But long story short, this is our first trip to Hawaii, and hopefully right now, my husband and I are relaxing next to a beautiful beach with a cold drink in one hand and a good book in the other. Well, maybe not a good book for him because he doesn't love to read, but hopefully he's enjoying the vacation too. But I didn't want to leave you without leaving you a video for the week. And this is a good one. I am a member of a teacherpreneur club called the Teacherpreneur Club and it's run by Tabitha Caro from Flapjack Resources. And basically, this is a really cool membership site that's full of teacher sellers, where we can ask each other questions, ask for advice, and talk about all things teacherpreneur. One of the coolest parts of it is that each month, Tabitha gives every member what's essentially a digital goodie bag that is full of useful templates, overlay images, workshops, and so much more that you can use in your store and in your marketing like right away. I can talk about the club for hours, but that's not the point of this video. So for now, I'll leave you a link to the club in the description box in case you want to join too. Anyway, the reason I mentioned it is because a few weeks ago inside the club, one of the members asked how everyone was organizing their digital files for their TPT resources. And it turned into a super long spirited chat about all the ways that other TPT sellers stay organized. And it got me thinking that maybe some of you would want to see how I actually organize my files. Because not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm really good at digital file organization. I don't expect this video to be super long, but I do think you're going to leave with a really clear idea of what my process is for all of the files that come with creating resources for TPT. So let's jump over to my computer now and I'll show you all of it. So to start with, all of my files are saved on my Google Drive. Since Google is such a large company, I trust them and their ability to back up my files on their servers. I also love that I can access my files from anywhere. So if I start a resource at home, I can continue it from my friend's house or from the road or pretty much anywhere that has internet access. And by the way, there's a really loud bird outside my window, but instead of going out there and shooing it off and looking like a crazy person, we're just gonna roll with it. I think you heard that. The very first tip I'm going to share with you is to use folders for everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. It's pretty easy to just throw all your files on the main Google Drive folder, but that is a super easy way to get disorganized and frazzled when you're trying to locate a file. Instead, create a folder, name it appropriately, and add your files in there. Don't be afraid to create folders within a folder too. So if you take a look at my main drive, you'll notice that almost everything is in a folder. The files all the way at the bottom that are not in a folder are files that just came up when I attended professional development or freebies that I've made copies of or Google Classroom assignments that just made themselves at home there, but I never really accessed those files. So eventually I need to go through and clear them out. It's kind of like those bins of classroom decorations sitting in your closet that you bought three years ago and haven't used once, but are refusing to throw it away because what if you might want to use them two years from now? Be honest, you all know what I mean. But anyway, tip number one is to use folders for everything. Tip number two is to use a numbering system to further organize your folders. Google Drive will automatically list your folders in alphabetical order, but I have three folders that I use on a regular basis and I don't wanna be searching for them every time I need them since each folder starts with a different letter. Instead, I renamed the three folders I use often and placed a number before the actual name. So here in my drive, I have a number one next to my TPT folder, a number two next to my YouTube folder, and a number three next to my second grade folder. What that does is it brings up those folders to the top of the list and it cuts down on so much time instead of searching for each of these folders every time I need them. So tip number two is to go ahead and use a numbering system to bring up your most used folders 
so that they are more easily accessible. Tip number three is to use colors. On my main drive, all of my folders are just randomly colored just to make them pretty to look at. But I'll show you how I also use colors as yet another system to organize my TPT files. First of all, let me show you how to change the color of your folders. All you have to do is right click on the folder, click on change color, and then pick the color that you want. Now let me show you how to use those colors to work for you. If I go into my Teachers Pay Teachers folder, you'll notice that each of my products have their own folder. So these here are all of the products that I currently have listed and live on TPT. Some of them are within another folder like these math track games. I have a whole set of digital board games to practice addition and subtraction math facts, but I've placed each set within a folder. So all of the addition games are in a folder and the same goes for all of the subtraction ones. Anyway, the colors of the folder here are also all random except for this red folder up here. This is my incomplete resource folder and if you notice, I use my numbering system and color coding system to help this folder stand out. I put a number one in the name which brings it to the top of the list and it is the only red folder in here to make it stand out even more. If I go into my incomplete products folder, you'll see a stark difference here. I do that on purpose. If a product is gray, then that means the product is not completed. Once the product is completely done and it has been posted on TPT, I will go in and change the color of the folder and then move the folder back into the main TPT folder. So let me show you how that works. Let's say that I finished this Hanukkah bingo and it's been posted on TPT. Then what I'll do now is change the color of the folder and then move it to the main TPT folder. Now you'll see it here with the rest of the completed products. Now let's talk about this incomplete product folder real quick. All of the things in this folder are not necessarily products that I'm currently working on. They're just ideas. I use this incomplete products folder as kind of a brain dump. If an idea strikes, I'll quickly pull up my Google Drive app on my phone come into this folder and create a folder with the name of my idea. If I feel like I need to add more details to help me really understand my idea at a later time, then I'll create a Google Doc in that folder and write down more details for my grand idea. For example, this boom card folder is empty while this 4TPT sellers folder has some ideas in it that are in various states of completion. I also apply the number system here. I put a number on the folders that I'm currently working on where the rest of them are just basically ideas. Let's go back to the main TPT folder and I'll show you another important folder that you should have if you are a TPT seller. This number two folder is by master files. You should have a master files folder where you can keep any commercial licenses you've purchased or your logos or anything like that that you might need a quick access to. It's just another way to quickly access important files when you need them. Lastly, I wanna show you what's in these product folders. From the very beginning, I knew I had to have a consistent way of creating products. So most of my product folders contain the same things. I'm a big fan of having a consistent process and using templates because it really helps speed up the process of product creation. Let's go back to this Math Tracks addition folder. Inside of it, you'll see all of the individual games that are live on TPT. Everything in this folder is also in a bundle, so keeping them together just makes sense. Each of these are labeled in a very similar way with a numeral digit first to keep them listed in the right order, and then the word form followed by what type of design that particular game is. So like this first one is donuts, this one's cars, bugs, and so on. Each of these folders represents a completed product. If you go into any of these folders, you're going to see almost the exact same file types three folders, two PowerPoint files, and a Google Slides file. Let me show you. Let's check the cars one. See, three folders, two PowerPoint files, and a Google Slides file. Let's do one more for good measure. Let's check the next one, which is the bugs one. Three folders, two PowerPoint files, and a Google Slides file. The reason it's the same is because the process for creating them and the templates that I use are exactly the same. These three folders, two PowerPoint files, and a Google Slides file are in just about every single one of my digital folders because I create almost all of my products in the exact same way. The last thing I wanna do is show you what exactly is in each of these folders, so let's jump back in. After I finish creating a Google Slides product, I immediately make a copy of it. I do this just because I like to have my own clean copy of the file that is listed on TPT, just in case something funky happens to it during the sharing process. It's never happened to me before, but since the products are digital, there is always a chance that a teacher will accidentally go into the original file and make changes on it that will affect the future buyers. If a teacher were to contact me and say that the file they downloaded was messed up in any way, 
then I won't panic because I have this fresh replica of the finished product sitting here waiting to restore it. These two PowerPoint files are the editable templates I use for creating all of the access files for all of these games. So what I do is make a copy of these two files for each of the games and then all I have to do is change the links and product images, but the layouts stay consistent. So it doesn't matter how many of the games they buy, the access files will have the forced copy link in the exact same spot every time, which I think is helpful for them, especially if they're in a rush. More importantly, however, these files are templates. That means that I can get 10 or more products ready to be listed on TPT in one sitting because changing the link to the file and the images for it doesn't take a whole lot of time. It's just another way to make the process of listing products easier by batching. So if you're sitting there recreating access files or previews for every single one of your products, you need to start using templates right away. Anyway, let's go back to the folders. In the finals folder, I always have the two PDFs one for the access file for the buyer and one for your products preview. I also have the Google Slides file that is actually linked and posted on TPT. I separate it so that I know not to accidentally change or delete it since it is live. In the images folder, I have the screenshots that I used for the thumbnails and the preview file. And in the thumbnails folder, I have the completed thumbnails that are posted on TPT. This makes it easy for me to make changes if I made a mistake or needed to add or delete something to a thumbnail. All right, friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope you were able to get some good tips on how to organize your digital files for your TPT products. If you take the time to apply any of these tips, I'd love to see it. Take a screenshot and tag me on Instagram under Teacher Tech Files. As always, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Be kind to one another, and I'll see you after my vacation or in one of my other videos.